verses 6 to 7. The apostles appointed them to this work of serving tables for the present, v6. The people presented them to the apostles, who approved their choice, and ordained them. They prayed with them, and for them, that God would give them more and more of the Holy Ghost and of wisdom that he would qualify them for the service to which they were called, and own them in it, and make them thereby a blessing to the church, and particularly to the poor of the flock. All that are employed in the service of the church ought to be committed to the conduct of the divine grace by the prayers of the church. They laid their hands on them, that is, they blessed them in the name of the Lord, for laying on hands was used in blessing, so Jacob blessed both the sons of Joseph, and, without controversy, the less is blessed of the greater, Hebrew 7 7, the deacons are blessed by the apostles, and the overseers of the poor by the pastors of the congregation. Having by prayer implored a blessing upon them, they did by the laying on of hands assure them that the blessing was conferred in answer to the prayer, and this was giving them authority to execute that office, and laying an obligation upon the people to be observant of them therein. The Advancement of the Church Hereupon When things were thus put into good order in the church, grievances were redressed and discontents silenced, then religion got ground, v7. The Word of God Increased now that the apostles resolved to stick more closely than ever to their preaching, it spread the gospel further, and brought it home with the more power. Ministers disentangling themselves from secular employments, and addicting themselves entirely and vigorously to their work, will contribute very much, as a means, to the success of the gospel. The word of God is said to increase as the seed sown increases when it comes up again thirty, sixty, a hundredfold. Christians became numerous, the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly. When Christ was upon earth, his ministry had least success in Jerusalem, yet now that city affords most converts. God has his remnant even in the worst of places. A great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Then is the word and grace of God greatly magnified when those are wrought upon by it that were least likely, as the priests here, who either had opposed it, or at least were linked in with those that had. The priests, whose preferments arose from the law of Moses, were yet willing to let them go for the gospel of Christ, and, it should seem, they came in a body, many of them agreed together, for the keeping up of one another's credit, and the strengthening of one another's hands, to join at once in giving up their names to Christ, Polis Oclos a great crowd of priests were, by the grace of God helped over their prejudices, and were obedient to the faith, so their conversion is described. They embraced the doctrine of the gospel, their understandings were captivated to the power of the truths of Christ, and every opposing objecting thought brought into obedience to him, 2 Co 10 colon 4, 5. The gospel is said to be made known for the obedience of faith, ROM 1626. Faith is an act of obedience, for this is God's commandment, that we believe, 1 JN 323. They evinced the sincerity of their believing the gospel of Christ by a cheerful compliance with all the rules and precepts of the gospel. The design of the gospel is to refine and reform our hearts and lives, faith gives law to us, and we must be obedient to it.